A debate on how much alcohol is too much will be spilling into Washington next year. That's when the Agriculture and Health and Human Services Departments will be updating federal dietary guidelines on alcohol consumption. They'll get input from experts who've done studies pointing to any amount of alcohol being harmful. Right now, it's recommended men have no more than two drinks daily and women have no more than one. Julie Wernow joins us now. She's a reporter for the Wall Street Journal. She recently published an article about this issue, which we found very interesting. Um, Julie, thanks for your time. I, I want to ask you about these current guidelines and wh what they're based on and, and why they might need to be changed. Right. So the same people who brought you the food pyramid have been deciding on alcohol guidance for Americans for, you know, decades. And for the past like 30 years, um, they've been basing this on research um, that showed that, you know, a little bit of alcohol might not be problematic for your health and that, you know, Americans can drink, as you said, you know, two, two drinks a night for men, one drink a night for women. Uh, what's changing is that people are now starting to question whether the science that those guidelines were based on is still valid, you know, three decades later. And so other than booze companies being opposed to changing these guidelines, who, who else is against it? Right. I mean, the there. The issue right now, it's it's so early, actually, in the process, which is what's so fascinating about the amount of activity that's happening and the amount of money that's going into, um, you know, getting a, a voice in the process of what decides our alcohol guidance. Um, and so what is happening now is you have a, a lot of congressmen who are, you know, in places from Napa Valley to, you know, the Bourbon Trail, yeah. whose economic engines are tied to the alcohol industry, questioning, you know, this process. Why, why are we, why are we examining yeah. alcohol guidance separately? Well, um, it, 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 do, it does seem like a very arbitrary, it seems like a very arbitrary thing to begin with that we've been living with for 30 years. Oh, men can have two and women can have one. Where, where did that, I, I don't, where did that come from? It actually came from a, a, a scientific consensus, you know, from, you know, back in the day where they were looking at mortality data and seeing that, okay, you know, if you, if you keep it to just strictly, you know, two drinks, two drinks a night for men, that we don't really see much risk in that for, for, for the changes to your health. Of course, you know, now we're looking back at some of those studies and saying, well, wait a minute, they were including, you know, non-drinkers who quit drinking because they had health problems uh, together with people who had never been drinking. Well, that really changes, you know, the difference between a person who's never had a drink and a person who might have had a problem with alcoholism is it could be vastly different in mm -hmm. terms of health outcomes. And that's just one of the examples that they're pointing to for some of the sort of fatal flaws in those studies. I don't know, Julie, do, 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 does Europe or other countries, other places, continents, everywhere, do they have rules like or guidelines like, like we have? Yes, um, the number of con countries have guidelines, including um, also, you know, the World Health Organization, which recently said that uh, no amount of alcohol is safe. And we've been seeing alcohol guidance really getting um, dropped around the world to lower amounts of alcohol, which is a big reason, you know, that this is causing sort of an existential crisis for the alcohol industry. Um, in the past, Americans, you know, didn't associate alcohol, for instance, with the same kinds of cancer risk as tobacco. In fact, a lot of Americans are very unaware of the fact that alcohol leads to something like seven different kinds of cancers. Sure. Um, and so, you know, that combined with the fact that younger generations are moving away from alcohol and thinking more about their health makes this, you know, a very big problem for the alcohol industry. Julie Bernal from the Wall Street Journal. Thanks for your time. Thank you for having me.